Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our Moment of Power topic today is Beware, Part 3. Then Jesus said unto them, Take heed and beware of the living of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Matthew chapter 16, verse 6. Jesus again tells his followers to beware of the living of the Pharisees. They didn't know what he was talking about. They didn't know he was referring to something that he wanted them to really, really know. So when he talked about living, they thought he was talking about bread. So in verse 7 we read, And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. Verse 8, Which when Jesus perceived, he said unto them, O ye of little faith, why reason ye among yourselves, because ye have brought no bread? Let's continue to read verse 9 down to verse 12. Do ye not yet understand, neither remember the five loaves of the five thousand, and how many baskets ye took up? Neither the seven loaves of the four thousand, and how many baskets ye took up? How is it that ye do not understand that I speak it not to you concerning bread, but ye should beware of the living of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Then understood they how that he bade them not beware of the living of bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and Sadducees. End of quote. Today, when we talk about doctrine, which is teaching and the rest, people think it doesn't matter what you believe but jesus warned his followers not to follow the doctrines of the pharisees and the sadducees because you know they have a church manual in their time that they call the Mishnah that they wrote in that manual they have added to the word of god it was like their church policy or something like that they have given prescriptions that were even not in line with the word of God. Some of these were called the tradition of the elders, which they started worshipping God with and ignoring the word of God. But Jesus had also told them that, look, when these people say the truth, you should follow the truth. And that's what we see in Matthew 23, we read verses 2 and 3, quote, saying, the scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. End of quote. Why is it that Jesus was telling the disciples not to follow the doctrine of the Pharisees, which is the living of the Pharisees and the Sadducees? And here he is saying that when they tell you to do something, do it. Is that not some kind of contradiction? Not at all. What does Jesus mean by sitting in Moses' seat? That is when they read the real scriptures, the Torah. When they ask you to do what God has said in the writings of Moses that you should do, that you should do. But don't do according to their own doctrine. Jesus was interpreting what he meant by the living of the Pharisees. And then we can find that in Luke chapter 12. If we read verse 1, we get a meaning. Luke chapter 12, verse 1. In the meantime, when they were gathered together, an innumerable multitude of people, insomuch that they trod one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples, first of all, Beware ye of the living of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Now, this takes us back to Matthew 23 when he says, you see, they tell you to do something, they don't do it. And that's what hypocrisy is all about. Preach something that you don't. So don't do like they do. 
they had these religious leaders these pharisees and sadducees they were the religious leaders of the people at this point in time they were hypocrites and today do we have people like that do we have the equivalent of pharisees and sadducees i want to say yes they are everywhere they have the way they live which is not according to the word of god they preach the word of god they preach on the altar and tell people to do something they are not doing that's the kind of hypocritical thing and jesus said don't imitate that and whenever they preach things that are not in line with the word of god which jesus referred to as the doctrine of the pharisees and the sadducees you are not also to accept that so jesus calls it the living of the pharisees and the sadducees one of the living of the sadducees would be that there was no resurrection that's one of their beliefs which was contrary to the scriptures and jesus was telling them in his days he said look you do uh, not knowing the scriptures and the power of god so if jesus tells his disciples to beware of teachings that were not correct at that time we need to also beware today of teachings that are not correct which are the equivalent of the doctrines the living of the pharisees let us pray that god will give us the appetite to study his word and to know his will so that we can recognize the living of the pharisees some people can't even know when error is being preached because they do not know the truth remember my people perish the bible says for lack of knowledge god wants you to have increased knowledge so that you can recognize the living of the pharisees of our time father we give you glory today we worship you we praise you we, we thank you we know that as we approach the very end of time in these last days satan's deceptions will be very very difficult to discern as said by those who know the word of god and have the spirit of god and so we come to you today and we pray that the spirit of hypocrisy that was with the pharisees they wear long garments they carry scrolls love to be greeted in the marketplace they love the front seats of the synagogue they love to pray for everybody to see them that they are the ones praying they love to pray in the street corners and in the synagogue lord we pray today that such a spirit of hypocrisy be taken away from us in jesus name help that our christianity will be genuine help today father that we may worship you aright that we will follow the bible and the bible alone you will help us to follow you and not be deceived by false prophets lord many people are deceived today by false prophets who come to them in sheep clothing even those they trust so much that won't hurt them they are the wolves in sheep glory today lord in every church lord nowhere is actually safe where we cannot find people who are false teachers and false prophets but only your discerning power can help us so impact in us today your discerning power and bless us take all the glory take all the honor thank you for your kindness and your goodness help us to beware of the living of the pharisees false doctrine and hypocrisy in jesus mighty name bless us today bless us in our going out and coming in bless us in our places of work bless the fruit of our body bless our children oh lord and as we travel on the road and as we sleep at night Oh Lord, take all the glory. Thank you for this moment of power. Keep us in your power and your grace. By your spirit, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.